if you just disappear, if you delete your social media, if you stop hanging out with your friends that don't want to develop themselves and are just uh, wasting time every day, if you stop watching shit educational or entertainment content that doesn't serve you, and you just disappear for three months, for six months, for 12 months, no matter, it will change your life. How can I tell this? Because I did it and it completely changed my life. I'm right now 21 and I've made over $500,000 online at such an age. Of course, I'm not a billionaire, but it completely changed my life. And I've been able to buy this apartment. I've been able to help my parents financially, which was like very emotional moment for me. I was able to travel the world. I was able to completely change my life and not being a self of nine to five or not doing things that I don't enjoy. If you enjoy that, go ahead and do that. But I was able to completely change my life. But I started from zero. I started as a poor kid, as a 16 year old from a poor country in Eastern Europe, from no money, no background, no resources. All I had, literally, all I had was internet connection and a laptop, that was it. I didn't have anything. I didn't even have a phone when I started. That's all I had. And you, nowadays you can even start with the phone. But I completely changed my relationships, my health, my money by just disappearing. So here's exactly how it works. Most people in today's age and the world, they, are, they have too much stimulation. They have too much um, things that come to them. If you're right now on, on your phone, you have Instagram, you have TikTok probably, you have Snapchat, you have YouTube, you have all of these things. And People literally every day steal your time, attention, and energy. You, have, you watch videos, you, you read content, you, you are probably on someone's email list. You are, you are getting bombarded with all of these algorithms, with all of these multi-billion dollar companies, uh, algorithms that are just ruining your life. And the best way to con like attack that and to destroy that and to get back your freedom, get back your soul and to make meaningful change in your life and to become healthier, have more peace, make more money, become better, is to just cut out all of that and just disappear. So here's exactly how you can do that. The best way, uh, the first and best way for you to disappear is to just delete your social media. So all old friends that are not serving you, that are not helping you, that are just like, like getting your attention and stealing it from you, that are not serving you anyway, and you don't necessarily want to hang out with these people, they, they, you, you don't have the same goals, you don't understand each other, that's completely okay. They are not to blame, you are not to blame, that's okay, everyone has their own path, right? And we, don't, and we shouldn't judge anyone. Everyone um, decides how they want to live their life. But for you, delete and unfollow all the people that are not serving you. All the old people that, old friends, all the people, or even just celebrities or influencers that you follow on Instagram, or on Twitter, or on YouTube, or on Snapchat that are not serving you, just delete it right? Just, just delete it. That's it. Delete the apps from your phone if you want. If you, if you don't have the discipline to do that, then just unfollow the people that are just every day. When you watch them, you have negative emotions. You compare yourself to them. They are not serving you anyway, right? The second way to disappear is just stop responding to people that you don't want to hang around with. So if people are messaging you every day, people that like, uh, hey, let's go to drink. Let's go play this, that. If you want to do that, go ahead, right? But if you don't want to do that, stop replying. That's it. What's the worst that can happen? That they get mad at you? Okay, doesn't matter. They are going to die, you are going to die in 100 years or sooner, so it's not, it's not going to matter, right? I'm not saying to be an asshole, I'm not saying be a bad person, but if, that, if someone is not serving you, if, if you just hate that, that relationship is going to end anyway. So why not to end it straight away? right? In a good way. Make sure to like not, not do it in a bad way, right? But stop responding. What's going to happen? Nothing. So that's the second way to disappear. The third way, if you can, and I understand not everyone can do that. Maybe you live with your parents or whatever. But the third way, if you can do that as an extra tip, you just move out. If you have the resources, if you can afford that, move out, right? Just go and live in a different place. Go and live in a different neighborhood. Go and live in a different city. If you're in a small city, go to in the big city if you want to, right? If you have all of these big dreams, you have all of these things that you want to achieve, if you want to become better, but all the people around you don't want to do that, you are going to, it's, it's going to be worse for both of them because what's going to happen? You are, maybe you are going to have arguments with them all the time or you are going to listen to them. You are going to follow their road, their advice, go to college, go to university, do all of these things and you are going to end up unhappy and who are you going to blame? You are going to blame them. So again, you are going to argue. Hey, I listened to you, I did this, and it didn't serve me. So if you are already in that state, and you are hate that, and you every day have arguments with people, may maybe even with your family, with your friends, move out if you can afford to, right? Go there, it might be scary, it might be you don't know what to do, etc. But if you do that, it will develop yourself as a, as a person, right? 
But if you cannot afford that, then that's okay. You can still make money from living with people, with your parents, or that's okay, right? And if you have a wonderful family, that's awesome. I have a great family. So if you have that as well, you are lucky, right? So you can do that as well. I'm not saying that that's the only way. But what's not negotiable is that you need to just cut out all the bad habits, all the old behaviors, old connections, old friends, old media, old people, old people that are old, not old people, but people uh, that are from a uh, few years ago, right? Old, from the old face of your life, that's what I mean. Not, <laughs> I don't mean like people that are old, but people that are not no longer serving you. It's your friends, it's your peers, it's no matter what, who they are, right? Just cut them out and stop hanging around with them and stop responding to them. And the second best way to do that is to stop playing video games if they are not serving you. If every day you wake up, you play the game, and then after that you have that feel, feeling of guilt, stop that. Delete that, disappear. And now here's what the, uh, was the biggest important thing. When you dis disappear for one month, two months, three months, how it's going to change your life? It's very simple. It's going to change your life because now you will need to replace all of these things with something productive. Because imagine if you like deleted all the video games, if you stopped responding, if you just disappeared and you just locked in and focused on one thing that you are working on, if it's your health, if it's your business, no matter what it is, right? Of course, you are going to make progress towards that direction. You All of the time that you used to spend on stupid things, now you'll have all that extra time to spend on the thing that you want to do, right? On your goal, on that thing that you want to achieve. If it's making money, if it's becoming financially free, whatever it is, if it's buying that dream car that you have, if it's traveling the world, whatever it is. All of that things, they are just holding you back from making progress towards this goal that, may, that matters more than anything else in your life, right? So when you disappear and when you stop responding, when you just every day you are locked in, you don't go out, you don't talk with your friend, nothing. If that helps you, makes you happy and you want to do it once, once a week for two hours, go and do that. But you cannot do it every day. You need to create the space and time and cut out all that algorithms, all that social media, all that comparison, all that news, all that negative things, right? You need to cut that out and you need to focus on doing what you want to do and on your main goal. If you do that, if you just disappear, even for three months, even for two months, right? The more the better, obviously, but any amount of time, it can completely change your life because it changed my life completely. What happened is when about three years ago, three, four years ago, right? I was going to university. So I, I graduated school. I was, I got very great, good uh, grades, right? Uh, I was good at school, right? It's not the typical story. Oh, I was bad at school. No one understood me. I became an online entrepreneur. I said, no, I was, I was good at school, objectively, right? But I realized that I don't want to do this. And when I went to the university, I thought that, okay, this information is not going to help me. It's outdated, right? If you want to be a doctor, sure, you need to go to university, go there, right? But for me, for 90% of the professions out there, the information is out there on the internet. You can learn it. You don't have to go there, right? I still do believe that if you are going to play video games every day and you are going to do nothing productive with your life, it's still better to go to college. It's still better to go to university. But if you already have a goal, if you already know that that's not the path for you, if you already know that you want to be a YouTuber, if you want to make money online, or if you want to become, or if you want to build a business that will help you or develop in any way and not be like going to university that degree that's not the route for you then stop that the sooner you stop that the better and that's what i've done i cut that out i disappeared i stopped seeing all my old friends right i have now freaking against them uh, and it's not their fault or my fault it's just because i i was working very hard on my thing i didn't have the time for everything else so i naturally cut out everything else right and when i did that and when i disappeared i i was not going to any parties, I was not going to any celebrations, I was not going to anything. I was just locked in, working out, and of course I had fun as well, right? When I was working on my on my business, I was well, that was fun for me. Becoming better, making progress, making money, going to the gym, helping my parents financially, taking them to nice restaurants, all of these things made me healthy. So I'm not saying be a robot and work 24 hours a day, seven days a week. No, you can work eight hours a day really hard for focused work and go and have fun for one hour a day with your family, with friends that also want to develop themselves, right? Or do whatever you want, but you need to, cut out the most of the stuff that is holding you back. And if you do that and you disappear, it will change your life, I'm telling you, right? And what happened next in my story? When I did that, when I quit university, when I stopped seeing all my old friends, when I stopped watching all the old gaming videos because I used to play games, I used to watch these videos, I used to watch the news every day, what's happening in the world. I cut out all of that and I thought, okay, let me try this. And it's crazy how much progress I've made. In the first year, it was 2021, so three years ago, 
I've made more than 127,000 dollars in the first year when I cut out everything else. That's how, that's how simple it was. I'm not saying now that if you started, you are going to make that money. No, right? I can't guarantee that. But what I can guarantee is different for each person. But what I can guarantee is you will make more progress in your life than you have made ever before. That's my promise. If you disappear, if you cut out everything else, you will come and people will say, like, who is this, right? You changed so much. Now you are better. You, you made this money. You are more confident. You are fitter. You are more healthier. And it will change the trajectory of your, of, of your life. And that's the first domino that will fall and it will put all of other dominoes into its place, right? That's one thing. If you start, if you disappear, it can create that positive momentum of your life that will make it into, uh, that will make your life into the life of your dreams, hopefully, right? Of course, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. You are not going to just get there overnight. It will take work. Sometimes you will disappear and someone calls you and you, there is a cool party and you, and you want to go there, but you don't. It will be painful. Sometimes it might be lonely, right? It might be not as pleasant as you might think it is. It might be ugly even sometimes. But if you do that, if you trade that three, six, 12 months of your life for the rest of your life of creating that positive momentum, making money, making your business successful, becoming financially free so you don't have to work at the job so you can prove to your parents that you can do that. When you, once you do that, all of your future life can change. If you don't make any stupid mistakes, if you don't lose it all, if you, I don't know, if you don't start gambling, all of these things, you will be set for life, right? If you just focus for one year, do stuff, make your first 5K month on, online or whatever it is, your life will never be the same. Next year will be, next year will probably make more. Next year, maybe you will struggle, but then you will overcome it, you will become better. And then the next year will make even more. And then in 10 years, you, would, you might find yourself as a millionaire, retired with great family, with, um, with great friends, that you have fun with, but they also work, you go to the gym together. When you have fun, you have fun, but you also develop yourself and you push yourself to, together to be better. And you push each other to become the best versions of yourself, right? This one thing will completely change your life. It will help you more than watching all of other videos on how to make money online, on how to, what's the best online business to start on. And no productivity, but nothing else will come close to this than just cutting out all of that weight is that is on you. News, boom, cut that out. Old applications, uh, games that you are not playing, that are not serving you, that you are wasting your time. Netflix, boom. Like, if you watch Netflix one hour a week and it helps you and it makes you happy and for the rest of the time you are productive, do that. But if you are watching four hours a day and it stops you from doing the work, cut it out, be relentless. Right? Because in five, 10 years, imagine how much pain you will have when you are just wasted all of your um, young years, right? Teenage years, 20s, 40s, 40s. And now you are stuck. You have no, like you have nothing. You wasted all of your time. You have no skill set. You have no money, nothing. You are going to regret it. So to avoid that, put in the work, disappear, make money, focus on your project, make progress there, create that positive momentum of your life. And then later you can enjoy it. And here's the point. I'm not saying sacrifice everything like sacrifice your health, all of it. No, I'm saying sacrifice the bad things that you know you should stop doing anyways. So you can say, Howard, I don't want to sacrifice this. You don't have to sacrifice everything. You can work eight hours a day, four hours a day, really focused, go to the gym, have a great relationship with your uh, like spouse or wife or husband or girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever, right? You can do that. You can have the time to read books. You can have the time to travel. All of these things, right? You can do that. You, are, you shouldn't be a robot. But the things that are not serving you, cut them out. And there is nothing better that you can do in your life. So last thing that I think will have the most positive impact for you is this journey can be lonely. And I understand that. When you work on your stuff, when you disappear, when you work and people say, oh, where are you? Like, what, what happened, right? It can be lonely at times. Of course, the end goal is worth it 100%. When you come out of that 12 months of focus work and you made progress and you became better, and maybe, yeah, you didn't become a billionaire or a millionaire, but you have made so much progress that you are proud of. When you will go and your friends will see you and say, oh, where are you? You changed so much, etc. That moment, it's cool, right? When you made this progress, when you came back and everyone, like the villain story, right? or the hero storm, and everyone says, oh, like, oh my God, good for you, right? How much you changed, how much, many things you achieved, right? But the process might be hard, right? When you do that work, when it's a 4 a, like it's 12 a.m. at night and you are still working and no one is there to cheer for you and you put in the work and you are focused and you cut out all other dead pleasures, but you don't see any results today, it's hard. So the best way to avoid that and the best way to have something against that and make it easier for yourself is to be in a community of people 
that are also on the same journey. So if you can get a friend that also wants to go to the gym, also wants to develop themselves, also started a business, and you talk with them 10 minutes a day on the phone or one hour in every three days, or you meet them in your life, whatever, it will help you to go through that phases of, of loneliness and it will help you to achieve it. We also have a free community that you can join, that you can meet other people. Uh, like it's completely free. I'm not selling you anything there. You can join it. You can find like-minded people. You can network with them. You can, can benefit them. Uh, benefit from it and it can be really good for you. So if you want, the link will be somewhere in the description. I think it's called join my free community or whatever. But if you don't want to find someone from your town, from your uh, city, from anyone, that friend that you have that is still into self-development, find them, work with them, talk to them, and it will make it less lonely for yourself. But that's it, guys. Um, the, main, the main thing for you to understand is that the people that are successful in life, they are had many periods of their life when they sacrificed most of the garbage that they didn't need and they focused and they disappeared and they came back stronger than ever before and that's how they changed their life. So if you want to be that person, then maybe if you're watching this video and you've made it this far, then this is the sign for you that this is your period for you and you need to start that right now and you need to disappear and trust me, in one, two, three, five years, you will thank yourself that you did that. You would make so much progress. You would get so many friends that it's crazy. Yes, in the beginning it might be hard, but once you do that, once you make it, it will be worth it, trust me. So start now, don't wait, and your, ch your life can completely change. And imagine, just feel for the moment, that, that moment or that smile on your parents' face when you gave them money, when you tell them that they can retire, when you travel the world, when you uh, g get friends that admire you and they are on the same road of self-development, when you, uh, you have the freedom to buy whatever you want, you, you no longer have to work if you don't want to. Like, think about all of the things. When you're helping people, like, all of that is just one decision away of disappearing and putting in intense, focused work for 3, 6, 12, 24 months. And if you do that, all of that can become reality. That's it, guys. Hope you do that. And if you want to learn my story on how I did it, how I've turned four dollars into five hundred thousand dollars in my disappeared phase, because when you disappear and you don't do nothing, you won't achieve anything. You won't become better, healthier. You won't make money, right? So if you want to know what you should do exactly, practical steps for disappearing and making money and becoming successful and coming back stronger, you can check out this video right here where I tell my story unfiltered on how I've made it and how I got $4 into $500,000 in a very short amount of time and how you can potentially, hopefully, do it too. So if you want to check it out, go there and thank you for watching.